In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 easiest ways to profit from betting. This is the absolute ultimate guide. There's many people out there making hundreds of thousands using these methods. You need to hang on to the end and watch all 10. So we've titled this 10 ways to invest and profit from betting. Now we're going to start off in an ascending order and we're going to go with match betting. Now, most of you will know this because basically it's been open to the general public. But what are you doing in this instance is you open an account with two or more bookmakers and exchangers. So uh, you'll be offered a bonus from these bookmakers and then you're going to take advantage by betting it and then laying it off on the exchange, thus generating yourself a profit. And of course, that's the name of the game, right? Uh, a more advanced system in this instance is to use a Dutch in where you're using bookmakers against bookmakers. You know, don't forget, you're going to get profit from both. There are websites there to help you with this. So that's, you know, the consideration. Um, with match betting, anyone who can get betting accounts can do it. No betting knowledge is required and you can get some low cost software. I think you're paying about uh, £29 a month for a reasonable software that will help you understand it and uh, place your bets. Now, the negative is that the bonus levels have been dropping. You know, once upon a time, you used to get like uh, 200, 500 pounds in the UK. It's down to like uh, 50 or 60 pounds now. Maybe some are still giving a 100. In the US, it could still be beneficial because uh, some of the, you know, they're out to capture the market in its early stages. So you do get the bonus in early stages of markets. Uh, the negative also with the uh, match betting is it's a limited longevity. It's not going to last for long. So, you know, in that uh, theory, it's going to be a minimalist investment, right? I just basically think that there are better options available. The second one, which we've spoke about in depth, is uh, arbitrage betting. Um, the thing with arbitrage betting is you bet on all outcomes with a guaranteed profit. You're basically benefiting from bookmakers' differing opinions. Now, there are advantages with the uh, arbitrage uh, betting. And one of the things that I've not really said there is that the account might stay open a little bit longer because you're also taking weak odds. But uh, uh, okay, let's go through the positives. And one of them is it's no risk, a sure bet. Or should I say it's a very moderate risk because you might not be able to place the second part of the bet. It might go missing, you know, the odds might have changed, but that's uh, something that we can, you know, navigate around, right? Um, and then, of course, through that, you're uh, guaranteeing yourself a profit. And again, there's a lot of software out there which helps you uh, basically find these bets and uh, it's not costing that much. So, you know, that can be also beneficial. Um, the negative is obviously the small margins. Um, you're also under pressure to place two bets as opposed to one because, you know, you've got to lay on both sides. And in this instance, obviously, uh, you're giving value back. You see, the thing is with an arbitrage uh, better, they will do the arb irrelevant of whether there's value on both sides. So you imagine a flip of a coin where, you know, if it was like uh, being offered ads and tails at 2.1, 2.1, right, you could do an arbitrage because it's advantageous. You're going to win on both sides. But an arbitrage gambler would also bet if Ed's was 2.2 and uh, the tails were 1.9, they would still cover themselves with a 1.9, even though it is of no value. So I would just say to you, my advice would be only arb when value is on both sides. So now we're going to move on to one of my favorite ones, which is the value betting. And when I say favorite, it's not something that I particularly use myself, but it's something that I really recommend, you know, people who are just getting into this business to really get involved in. And I would also like to give a plug at this stage for Rebel Betting because, uh, you know, their software is uh, pointing out all these uh, positive EV bets. And we're going to get into that uh, uh, right now. But uh, yeah, you know, the term that you need to understand is expected value. Basically, bookmakers are competing with each other and by using that competition and putting it into your advantage, you're reverse engineering the bookmaker's advantage. So normally they would skim 5% for themselves, but in this instance, you can probably get 5% for you. The advantage with value betting, and these are the stuff that I really like about it, is that it's one click. You've only got to place one bet. If it's not taken, then it's not taken. You know, it's just like uh, something that's uh, uh, gone by and you're not going to lose anything from it. Um, but, uh, you know, the one click is 
yes, no situation. You haven't lost anything from it. You're not giving value back as you would be in the arbitrage or in the match betting. And it's really easy to learn because of the simplicity of it, right? And also because of the great software available. And like I say, I would just reiterate, you, you know, you can go down into the... Um, into the comment uh, into, into the section where we explain this video and you can click on that and uh, get yourself over to uh, rebel betting right there is some risk involved uh, because obviously you're just betting uh, one side of the coin and uh, you can be wrong but uh, you know you've got to think of it like a casino if you're going to a casino you can even have a winning night betting against the odds and uh, in, in this instance you know you can lose when you've got the odds in your advantage but if you play the numbers games over time think of it like a casino again they're always going to generate profit on the long run and that's for you uh, the case so you know if you do things right um, you do get account limitations uh, but just on that note if you are really experienced at this and you really know what you're doing, you can get in touch with us. Maybe we can put you in touch with some people that have got uh, these accounts and uh, whatever, right? But uh, that's for our sort of network. You know, you'd have to join up and uh, be part of our uh, system, right? But my advice is concentrate on the bigger games markets. It will slow down the process that you get limited. So we're going to now move on to something that you might not know about, and that's like each way thieving. Uh, in this instance, you're taking advantage of the place odds. So you imagine a horse race or anything come to that, right, where the favourite's outstanding, you know, like a four to six shot, two to one, the second favourite, and then 11 to two, the third favourite, and then it's like 25 to 50 to one bar, you know, the rest of them, right? So in this instance, right, there's one race uh, such as this today, so I'm just going to use that as an example. The 11 to two shot, if you place that in, for the place odds, if you're getting 150 odds, it's 2.1. Now on the exchanges, if you just wanted to bet the place part, it's only 1.60. And that's because of the way the odds are scattered out. You know, you've got to look when there's like uh, three odds sort of clamped together and then the rest are like uh, no chances. And it also, you know, you can use it in uh, sports betting uh, as well. You might uh, find uh, like a best of eight uh, something. Um, one small warning is, you know, you've always got to be careful that there's uh, not a non-runner in horse racing. If there's only eight runners uh, registered for that race, you might want to wait till later and uh, get on. But uh, yeah, that's something. So it's re relatively easy to identify opportunity. Just go and open yourself a not comparison site, click through it, and uh, you will soon see and soon learn, you know, where your advantages are. It's absolutely a no-brainer in terms of that you're always going to profit on the long run from this because you can build a nice advantage. So it's just basically a great add-on. Um, the negative, of course, is that uh, there are limited opportunities. You know, if there's like 100 races a day, you might find sort of five that sort of fit into that category. It just depends. Also with sports betting, um, you know, it depends on you've, you've got to keep uh, searching and just find it when you can get the odds in your favor. Yeah. So some maths knowledge would be beneficial and that's probably a negative for a lot of people. Um, and also you need to understand the risk because uh, it doesn't necessarily need to win or, you know, it doesn't guarantee anything and uh, you know you've also got to be aware that the bookies are watching so just uh, uh, you know what I'm saying by the bookies watching they do tend to mark these races they put like a, a red cross against it and if they watch people sort of each way betting then they might uh, uh, jump on but we've got a solution for that and we're going to come to that uh, pretty shortly so moving on to trading basically it's exactly what it says it is uh, uh, using the betting exchanges for this uh, you're buying and selling betting and laying call it whatever you wish to basically you're using the odds to ground grind out a small profit right back in the day uh, with betfair we was probably one of the top five on there we was uh, uh, getting zero percent commission and we was also getting 50 percent of the commission that was raised against us so imagine that you was paying commission you'd want to bet against us we were sort of getting a rate back on that as well so it was really easy back then used to track uh, the markets uh, in uh, asia and uh, just go and lay on there and uh, you know you could cover yourself pretty quickly it was a way of carving out uh, uh, an easy income nowadays it's become a little bit uh, uh, more difficult with the sort of uh, premium charge that they've uh, introduced even though there are some advantages uh, such as uh, that they've reduced the uh, uh, commission again you know in the uk even every tom dick and harry can get a two percent and if you are betting big you can go and negotiate now there's plenty of tools available i'm not going to go through them here because 
uh, you know, you just go and Google it, uh, just uh, trading, uh, betting trading, uh, and then just put tools. Uh, it's uh, low risk. I mean, there's always some risk that you don't get the other part of the bet covered. You know, you make a, a small mistake or, you, you know, and uh, but that's basically um, onto the negative part as well. You do need a bigger skill set. You will need to understand this a lot better. And in my opinion, the work reward ratio is out of place. It's really not, uh, uh, you know, something that I would uh, recommend because it is hard work. You need a lot of discipline. It's very time consuming. And at the end of the day, you're betting, you know, for cents on the, uh, the dollar, so to say. You know, you're not going to be winning big money. So it would be my least favorite for beginners. But uh, some people swear by it. But I would just say it's hard work for the return that you're getting. Now, I'm going to move on to what I call shop loitering. I mean, basically, it's visiting betting shops, right? You find plenty of uh, opportunities in betting shops. And the reason for that is that the slow changing odds. Basically, you can go in the shop and as long as you can get access to sort of Betfair and, uh, you know, the exchanges and look at the actual odds of uh, different races, right, and you know different opportunities you can always take advantage by uh, using those odds and if you find anything above them then you've got the advantage uh, so you know concentrate on the lay part of the bed if uh, uh, they're asking for uh, lay a, a dog for example at odds of uh, 3.5 on a bed fair and you're getting odds of four in the shop you can do it can't you you can either lay it off and uh, you know do it that way so uh, also i just want to go back to that each way thieving it's a good thing in shops because the shops you know you, you go and place your bed they might know uh, what you're doing as well but the moral of the story is they don't have a name attached to you it's not a betting account they're not going to uh, just block you they might block you from that shop but you go to the next one and so on yeah so the shop, shop loitering like i say slow to change odds that's one of the advantages no name attached it's relatively uh, easy methodology and uh, you know there's other advantages as well that uh, you can basically blend in yeah now obviously the negatives are the surrounding a lot of these places are not uh, uh, particularly uh, welcoming and uh, so you just need to blend in if you're going to the city of london maybe go uh, suited and booted um, if you're going uh, to, you know, sort of the uh, builders area, then uh, just go and throw on some rags and get in and sort of make yourself fit in. You could get a red card from the shop, but like I say, shops on every corner, and so you can move on. So it's best if you avoid detection, you know, and uh, maybe you shouldn't be sort of answering your telephone loudly and getting information fed to you about the beds, or, or just always flicking through your telephone. Just don't let them see you doing it, yeah? And uh, yeah, of course, if you are doing it yourself and just purely relying on yourself, then the odds feed is going to be basically through, a, you know, a, a remote device like a, a mobile telephone and uh, they're pretty hard to read. So, you know, uh, my recommendation is if the shop have got terminals, then go and use the, the machines, go and place your bet through them. And, uh, you know, there'll be less, you'll be less challenged, so to say. Yeah. So let's move on to the next one. And that is buying pigs. Now, uh, many providers pro uh, provide uh, profitable tips, yeah? There's a lot of people out there, you know, they're capable of uh, uh, generating a profit. But you've got to be realistic with expectancy. And you've got to really understand a few things about uh, uh, sort of uh, betting as well, right? Um, firstly, right, nobody in the world is going to come up with the numbers some of them are uh, actually advertising, yeah? Secondly... Uh, if you are latching onto a big tipster, then the chances are that you're not going to be getting the same odds that uh, um, they are advertising, right? And that's what's going to be recognized in their book, right? So, you know, look for sort of lower profile tipsters and uh, um, people who are offering like an exclusive service and also think of the numbers. If you're only getting 10 bets a month and uh, it's a 10% profit and you're doing 100 on each and it's costing you 100 for the service, you're only breaking even. You know, got to think of the numbers, yeah? But uh, uh, the advantage, of course, about buying uh, uh, picks is that it's got big betting potential because you can really use them because they're going to normally be on the, uh, the better leagues and so on, right? You can use exchanges in Asia, which means you're not going to get limited. And that, of course, gives you more longevity. Now, uh, as per mentioned before, the cost could be a negative depending on uh, your own volumes and, uh, you know, how much you can get out of it, yeah? And you could be chasing steam. Uh, because basically the tips go out all at the same time and then it's every dog for themselves to try to get the best odds. But uh, uh, like I say, you know, keep the low profile and you might get around that. There's plenty of cowboys in the game, especially a lot of these uh, Asian, uh, for some reason or the other, you know, advertising totally false. They've got like uh, 20 websites there and they're just trying 
you, uh, they'll basically replace the loser with the winner the next day or so on. You know, it's just like a absolute BS system, yeah. And uh, also, even the best picks, the best tipsters in the world, the best gamblers in the world, they do have losing runs. They're inevitable, and uh, you know, you need to sort of uh, figure that one out, right? Um, just one warning: avoid bookmaker affiliate sites for tips. So let's go on to foreign racing. Now, as you probably know, when COVID came along, there wasn't much to bet. Uh, so a lot of us uh, just sort of uh, learned to US racing pretty quickly because they were offering a full service. And, uh, you know, but I mean, we've been doing foreign racing for a long time. I can assure you that it's uh, very profitable if you know what you're doing. Right. And I'll also just mention quickly, if you want to be shown in like a private session, I can do one for like £100. It'll take an hour and you'll literally have a great overview of what's happening. Right. But uh, the theory of it is you've got to learn the market reading, uh, understanding, you know, how the odds uh, perform, how you can get on the sourcing of bets and the advantage taking mechanism that you can put into place. Yeah. Um, believe me, the advantages are there is many opportunities. The margins can be absolute massive. You know, sometimes thirty or forty percent if you really know what you're doing. Yeah, there's less competition because you're not competing against other people that know these tricks, and the betting options are there. You know, it depends on what you know. It depends which countries you know, but the betting options are there. Um, and uh, again, you know, uh, it's easy, relatively easy to find the benchmarks that can sort of help you get into the the, the modus, so to say. Yeah. Um, the negative is you would at least need some kind of understanding of racing now it sort of functions so it's a basic understanding right and limits can be relatively low depending on what you're betting where you're betting and how you're betting but uh, that's something that we can sort of uh, uh, talk about yeah um, I would give you one word of warning that UK books uh, underprice uh, you know UK and Irish runners so often uh, the actual odds the, the nice juicy odds are on the uh, uh, local runners when they're racing overseas and so it's something that you might want to take into consideration so we should move on to in play thief right um, if you can't read a game no problem right because the odds are changing fast you can track through by using betfair pinnacle and so on you right? you log into those websites make sure that you're logged in because you, that's where you'll see the true odds right and then you can literally, you know, uh, track the bookmakers that you're betting with and uh, uh, pound them. Um, some of the things about uh, uh, in play thieves, you know, uh, like uh, court siding, you can get these uh, information services uh, that provide that, but uh, they can be quite expensive or, or daunting. Yeah, uh, you might be able to send somebody to the race course who's feeding you information, uh, you know, who's in the stands watching the race unfold, and uh, you're sort of five or six seconds ahead of the actual pictures um in play thieving is very very lucrative if you know what you're doing this is something that i make a lot of money from myself but uh, it's uh, yeah, like i say you do need a little bit more sort of experience but don't be daunted by that fact you know you you grow you learn and you grow at the same time yeah um, the great thing what I like about in play uh, thieving is the bookmakers can't copy each other and best of all they can't really see you know your sort of advantage right because they don't have time to sort of reflect on what others are doing there's good limits involved uh, especially if you can get on in uh, Asia and with the exchanges and uh, um, yeah, but the negatives are that you will have to be quick. So you'll have to have a pretty good setup. You know, you'll need a few monitors. You'll need uh, to have everything ready in place, ready to place your bets fast, yeah? And also the software and information costs can be quite expensive. If you're so, you know, really, really into this and you're uh, paying uh, uh, one of these services like 30, 40,000 a month just for this info feed, then obviously it's quite, uh, it's constrained for most people, isn't it? So that's about that one, right? And then we're going to move on to something else which i really really like and this is something that i would recommend that you all get into um it's called uh, I, I like to call it just simply keep it as timing you're basically benefiting in this instance from uh, team news changing circumstances and so on right at certain times uh, the team news the team sheets will come out of football matches and then uh, the odds will change dramatically you know based on who's going to start right once that known and if you're just tracking like uh, uh, the uh, betting exchanges you'll see big 
odds changes before the bookmakers get that feed, before the bookmakers change their odds, right? So you can take that information and basically use it against them. You've just got to learn to, you know, when to bet and how to bet and uh, how to process it in your in your mind, yeah? It's much better than EV betting, yeah, because EV is basically waiting, uh, expected value that is, uh, is waiting for all the odds to change. Now the software is uh, reading all these odds, but then it will work on the averages of these odds, and then the like the the, the slow bookmakers will get uh, taken apart. But in this instance, you can literally take all the bookmakers apart because it does get fed into the main system first, and uh, you know like uh, the pinnacles, like uh, the professional bookmakers or the exchanges. So. That's how you can benefit uh, from, um, you know, timing your bets, yes. Um, now, I, like I say, it's relatively easy to learn once you know the sort of process. There's loads and loads of opportunity. Uh, again, you know, you'll know times of when uh, matches are starting, when leagues uh, are starting to play and catch up. Uh, you can catch bookmakers sleeping. Um, the negative is you do need to learn when, how. It's something that we're doing the coaching again, uh, but uh, and also you need to be able to place your bet pretty fast, yeah? So use uh, the Betfair and exchanges, other exchanges for the layouts and you'll be okay. So there were the 10 points and, uh, you know, that's about it for now. Uh, when I say winners wanted, if you want to join our one-on-one -on -one coaching, right, that we are very picky and choosy who we take on this and it is fee-based, but it could be something for you if that, uh, you know, is really uh, part of your mandate. If you really want to be a big-time professional gambler, we can show you how, we can get you in the network, we can uh, get you spiced up for the future, right? So there's the address and uh, um, if you want more videos like this, then you better give us a like subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification button you're through to boot camp for now we'll catch you in the next one soon take care bye bye